That's not bad. Okay. The meeting will be in order. It is 11.10 a.m. and the business meeting of the 69th West Coast Science Fantasy Conference is in order. I am the chairman, Kevin Stanley. Linda Denneroth is the secretary. In the back is videographer Lisa Hayes. This meeting is being recorded and the recordings will be posted to YouTube. At this time, could I ask somebody to go ahead and close at least one of the doors, uh, possibly both? Well, go ahead and close one of them at least to uh, deal with the sound issue. The WesterCon business meeting has different rules than Worldcon. If you are familiar only with Worldcon rules, you will be c confused by some of the things happening here because we speak a little bit different dialect. Among other things, WesterCon's business meeting is not required to re receive the results of a site selection report, which is good because the site selection voting hasn't ended yet. We will handle the items of business. There's just one on our agenda. Any new business anyone wishes to propose? Uh, with respect to your site selection comments. Well, uh, I, let me finish what I was going to say is that should it be necessary, a site selection business meeting would be held tomorrow, but I don't expect it to be. Mr. Yallo, if you'd come to the head. We just got the one microphone, so. Uh, for those people who are concerned about uh, the outcome of site selection, site selection is open and will remain open through 6 p.m. this evening. Counting will take place immediately afterwards. As Mr. Stanley noted, we are not required to report it to a business meeting. I will notify the WesterCon newsletter for this convention of the outcome. Uh, where do you, uh, let me know where you want me to leave uh, the results. Desk behind registration. I will leave it at the, uh, and they should be open at shortly after six-ish yes. this evening. Then I will leave it there. I will notify uh, the members through that mechanism. And should a result occur that will require a business meeting, I will both leave a notice there and I have Kevin's uh, cell number. And uh, it will be up to Kevin to figure out where to handle things. And I will add them to the agenda as an addendum to the minutes of the meeting. Great. Thank you. The procedural issue involved with that is that we will not be able to adjourn sine die at the end of this meeting. That's the final set closure. We will adjourn at the call of the chair, and the chair's call will probably expire. We don't expect a site selection meeting. Thank you. All right. Actually, are there any questions about procedure before we move into the agenda? All right, thank you. I should note that I observe a quorum present. The quorum for WesterCon business is 15 members. And that is the subject of our only piece of business that has been passed forward for ratification. It is on page 39 of your souvenir book and has a unfortunately common typographical problem when, when documents are pasted from one format to another of having lost the strike through type. Um, it is I under, I yes, I'm aware the sec secretary has the actual version, but if you look in the rightmost column of page 39, uh, going down the business passed on column, item 3.1 listed as quorum is moved to amend section 2.3 of the Westercon bylaws for the purpose of reducing the quorum from 15 to 10 members by striking out and inserting words as follows. Well, in the following section, the words 15 and the number 15 should be struck out and the words 10 and the numeral 10 should be underlined to indicate they are new. It's a fairly simple motion, but the typography got lost. Is there any question about what the proposal is? Very well, is there anyone who wishes to debate this motion? Who is anyone who wishes to speak in favor of it? Anyone wish to speak against it? This will reduce the quorum to 10. Is there any objection to ratifying uh, the item listed as quorum to reduce the meet business meeting's quorum from 15 to 10? This will take effect at next year's WesterCon business meeting. Yes? I object. You object, okay. 
Uh, there was no debate, and therefore it is for a vote. All those in favor of ratifying that item to reduce the quorum, raise your hands. Hands down. Those opposed, raise your hands. Hands down. The affirmative has it. And the motion is ratified. It becomes part of the Constitution at the end of this WesterCon. And it will take effect with next year's WesterCon business meeting. I'm waiting for the secretary. While I'm waiting for her, is there anyone wishing to introduce items of new business to the business meeting? Hearing none, is there any objection to this meeting adjourning at the call of the chair, potentially to meet tomorrow, but not very likely? And if the call is not exercised, the session will end. Um, yes. I would uh, request that the chair's remarks be uh, amended to remove any section, any projection as to outcome. I do not believe it is in order. Oh, okay, very well. The, 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 the form is that the meeting, uh, is there any objection to the meeting adjourning at the call of the chair potentially to meet tomorrow at a time and place to be announced? With, if no call is not exercised, the session will end. <coughs> Hearing none, at 11.16, the, bus the business meeting is adjourned. <laughs>